yo, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, it's Sharp Rap. Hold up for one second. Right. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, Shaw Graphics. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead. Hit that red and green button right there in the lower right hand corner. Show your boys some love. And don't forget to hit that like button. Alright, so today I'm still working with the football shirts. I printed the gold shirts in the last tutorial video. So in this video, I'm working with the black shirts, also a different design. It's the same football player, but a different design. Working with black shirts. This is gonna be a three color print. So I'm gonna be printing a white underbase. Uh, the text is gonna be gold, with maybe a little bit of uh, gold trim. And of course, the halftone print, which is the actual photograph that's gonna be printed in black right over the, uh, the underpaper. So as you can see, I got my screens ready already. And uh, you notice I got my artwork taped down on the board because I used that to register to my screen. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. Bring it in so you get a better view. As you can see, I got my artwork taped down. <clears throat> now this here is the underbase part of the artwork. So I use that to register all my screens. And the way I went about doing that, I just lower my screen, I slide my artwork up under there and I get it in the right position where it would match up with what I have on the screen, just like that. So once I have that straight, it'll make it a lot easier to match up the other two screens. So this right here would be my halftone print, which is the photograph, of course. And as you can see, it matches up with the artwork underneath. All right. And this is my text, which also matches up with the bottom part of the artwork, which is here. All right, so I'm all, I'm all set to print. So what I need to do now is uh, load up my screens with the ink. So let me see, I'm gonna get to it. I gotta figure out where I wanna put my camera here. I guess I'll put it right here. Matter of fact, I'll bring it over here. Just like that. So I won't be needing this no more. I'll just take off the artwork now. Go ahead and load my screens up with the ink.
All right, that should do it. Now I gotta clean my hands. All right, now it's about that time to do my first test print. Do a test print on this old navy blue shirt. With the shirts that I'm gonna gonna be printing will be black. I gotta find the squeegees. Squeegee for the black. Squeegee for the white. And I need a squeegee for the gold. I just happen to have a squeegee with gold ink. Right. Now I'm all set. Right. This is going to be my underbase. Now, my heat flash dryer should be up to temperature, but then this is my first time using the board, so the board is not that hot, so this first heat flash is gonna be a little bit longer than usual. Let that sit for a good 20 seconds. My board probably ain't that hot, so. I'm gonna let it sit a little bit longer than usual.
Make sure that white come out nice and bright. text the same way I did the other shirt because I don't want to make a mistake and print it too dark so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one stroke just like that bam perfect That's how I want it. Now I gotta print one more color and that's the gold. I'm gonna let that E flag sit there for another 15, 20 seconds. All right. I think I'm got this t-shirt pulled down a little bit too far on the board. But other than that, the print is okay. So this is what it's looking like so far. As you can see, I printed a little bit too high because I'm damn near like on the collar. But that's okay because when I do the real deal on the black shirts, it's gonna be a lot better. So I'm gonna go here.
All right. Time to do the real deal. I make sure my shirt's in the right position. All right. screen that takes up the most ink is this white, of course, and underbates. It's taking up a lot of white ink.
Yeah, when you working with a manual printer, it take a lot of time. Manual printer and doing multi-color printing, more than two colors, it takes up a lot of time. But the job is getting done. I thought about putting a print like on the sleeve and in the back, maybe like the jersey number, but that would have been just taking up a whole lot more time. So I decided to just do a front print. That way I can get down a little bit faster. I guess that'll do it. Now this print is a little bit larger, slight bit larger than I should have done it. So on my final heat flash, I always do my shirts like this. That way the heat can capture the perimeter of the whole design. You know, cause this thing here is only a 15 by 15, but I am making plans on getting something a lot larger, like a 18 by 18 or a 20 by 20. And then I could do larger prints. I really can't afford the heat conveyor right now. So I'm going to go with a larger heat flash dryer. There you have it. Jamar Rux. College football for Kennesaw State Owls. Subscribe to your boy channel, Earshaw Graphics. Thanks for watching. All right now.